Is anyone actually born gay? Who wants to start this one off? Oh, Harry, right there. Let me just say, um, from nursery I was wearing dresses and tea towels on my head, pretending to be a princess. So I can happily say now that I was always straight. No, um, I've never been straight. I have had girlfriends, yes, mm -hmm. but I have never been sexually attracted to a girl. Okay, but do you feel like that was how you were brought up? No. Or was, oh, okay. Not at all. That's gotcha. You know, I definitely think that I have been, I've been brought up both ways, you know. Mm -hmm. I've done football, I've done rugby, you know. I go to a rugby school, fortunately. But I've also, you know, been involved and will pursue to do musical theatre. But I don't think, I think you're born gay, you're born straight, you're born whatever, but you don't choose. They're looking into genetics now that proves that, uh, yes, there is a genetic link to you being gay. Um, and also you can sort of tell, as he was saying earlier on, you can tell, because this is, I was not, I think over the years, I was naturally effeminate as well. And so there's maybe that sign that, yes, deep down, there's something and you're born gay, you're born straight. I think it would be more the older generation who think it's like this social revolution has just come down, people are following it. No matter what generation you look at, um, <laughs> I think there's all there's always been gay people throughout. Okay, time. so we're gonna go over to you. My personal belief is you're not born gay, it's personal choice. I think you, people it's a lifestyle choice that people choose to be. I'm gonna quote a line from Glee. <laughs> <laughs> and it was by okay, Kurt. It. And it was um, I didn't choose to wake up and be called a fag. I didn't choose the abuse. I'm I didn't choose. Abuse, I know, but I'm saying it's a lifestyle choice that you chose. You <coughs> chose to be gay. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I recall the Tuesday morning I woke up and went, you know what? I'm gonna love a boy. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. You, you are born. born gay. You're born you straight. Born. It's okay, a lifestyle so choice. When do you make you're choice born you make it? with your sexuality. <laughs> you're born with your preference. It is not a lifestyle choice. It's not a, you know, I'm gonna one day like her. I'm gonna like him. That doesn't happen. We it were is. born to like the opposite, we are not born to like the same. Why would we choose to wake up and think, oh, I'm going to put myself through this of tears, of every night waking up, how am I going to come out, how am I going to get Depression. there, how am I going to get through that? Depression, suicide, anxiety, everything. No I come out to your parents, I, I was born in No one chooses thing, right? for I the depression. Not, I was that not depression. I, I'm obviously not uh, as feminine, so I, I, I didn't, I had to tell my parents I was gay, and they came to me and says, um, are you gay? And I says, I was like, yeah. And they were like, right, okay. But you cannot say you're born gay. I think sexuality is a very fluid thing. You can't just determine that you you are, you're not. You you, you it's own, own personal preference. And the, come out gay is very very hard and it's very very difficult yes, to get I that know far. It's very hard, but I'm not saying that's wrong. I support your opinion, but I'm just saying you're born straight. You can't argue. How did you come out to your parents first of all, and how hard was it? I actually didn't come out because of the because okay. pu the pure fear of coming out. I, I, I just couldn't I couldn't bring myself to it. So my parents actually they asked me, and it was then I, I they've asked me before, and I had I denied it, and what I came made to the you point. Scared, though? Because I came to that point where I was like, there's no point holding back, and I know mm -hmm. my family would be supportive of it. So I just said, okay, I'll just tell them and see how it goes. If it goes badly, it goes badly. Like I know a friend that came out, and he says he asked his parents when he came out. So when am I getting through and out? Like that is absolutely terrible. Yeah. He had the mindset that when he when he came out that he was getting through out of this house. But did your parents ever give you any indication to say that they would not accept you whenever you came out? No, no not not at all. Like it was more like it would have been a joke. Like, mm -hmm. oh, are you gay? Because I had all girls in my house and not. I wasn't. I wasn't. Didn't play football. Yeah. But the, to say that you're born straight, it, it's it's very hurtful to any gay person or any trans yeah. person or bi yeah. person yeah. to say what that. Advice? What advice would you give someone who is in school wondering about? how they should come out, when they should come out, you know, what sort of support they can seek out within schools, like, what have you found that works? I think it's all down to personal preference and you need to think, you need to like judge mm -hmm. of where you are in your life. If you are ready to come out, if you are ready to come out, if your parents will be supportive. Like there is support groups out there, there is LGB, LGBT groups there, and the Rainbow Project, Cara Friend, there are groups there, but like, you just need to judge of where you are in your own life. If you if you are ready to come out, will your parents accept you, will you get a backlash, you need to judge that on your education, because if you come out during the wrong time, it can affect your education, that can affect your whole mm -hmm. entire life. So you need to do it at your own in your own stages. So what you're saying this is a life changing thing to do, and it is something you need to weigh up all the possibilities there. It's a big thing, because I, I would, like, every gay person in the closet that doesn't live their life, they're living a lie, and they have to go into the house and they have to put on, they have to put on a mask and, they, and not show their true self. Like, your parents would ask you, do you have a girlfriend? 
but obviously you're like you think oh i don't have a girlfriend but boyfriend but mm. how do you tell people that how do you get across that and how do you get across that without being judged would you say that this generation is a lot more mm. accepting of you know the gay trans bi community Certainly, I think we're, we're moving forward, but I think having the DUP as one of our prominent mm. parties, yeah. Yeah. that it is very hard yeah. for us to be who we are. I mean, we have oh. senior politicians saying that it's disgusting, we repulse it. My st stance is still the same. I am, I am firmly sure we are born straight, and How there's no doubt... How did you come by this realisation? That is what I was brought up to believe, and I believe okay. that firmly, and that is my opinion. <laughs> and I don't, I don't hate anyone for their opinion, they can be gay. That it's a free speech, free country. We can. Do you not okay, feel that we'll in this home. generation, as growing up, as um, increasingly open and everything as we are, do you not feel that that has had any impact on your beliefs? Yeah. No, I believe that people can be gay, people can be st straight, whatever they want to be, mm -hmm. and I'm happy with that, and I support their opinions. But mm -hmm. it doesn't change my opinion. My opinion is you're born straight, but other people's opinions are their opinions, and I entitle them to that, as that's what we are allowed in this right, country. So okay. You have the belief that, yes, you're born straight, and that's that. This mob that. mentality is not fair. Yeah, can I just say that? Right, okay, okay, sure you're get, not going to force it onto anyone. Can we get final word from Harry? I'm not going to force it onto right. anyone. Can we get final word from Harry in this? Um, you know, I, I respect your opinion, honestly, but I do think, you know, it is a respect matter. I understand that you respect my opinion, whatever, but we all need to look at it at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You don't choose, Ma matter of fact, there's no day where you wake up and go, I'm, this, is, this is it, this is my choice. You choose to come out, mm -hmm. you choose to reveal yourself, to open up to other people, but you don't choose your sexuality. It is a flu it's a big fluid ocean. Mm -hmm. You don't go, yeah. one day I'm this, one day I'm that. If you want to come to a top table debate night or even be part of the big top table show on BBC One, email us now, toptable at bbc.co.uk.